Hey guys, what's up? I'm Gaurav Nepal. I'm a medical student from Institute of Medicine, Maharajan's Medical Campus and Teaching Hospital from Kathmandu, Nepal. And today I'm going to describe about the pathology of gastric adenocarcinoma. Gastric adenocarcinoma is the epithelial tumor. It is derived from the epithelium of the stomach. It is derived from the epithelium of the stomach. And the most common site is the lesser curvature of stomach. Now talking about the risk factor, the main risk factor is intestinal metaplasia. Intestinal metaplasia due to helicobacter pylori infection and autoimmune gastritis, autoimmune gastritis and S. pylori gastritis. The another risk factor is nitrosamines. Nitrosamines is present mainly in smoked food. Smoked food is quite common in Japan, therefore Japanese are more prone to gastric adenocarcinoma. The other risk factor includes smoking, massive alcohol intake and blood group type A. This risk factor is quite interesting. The people with blood group type A are at high risk of gastric adenocarcinoma. Now, let's talk about the genetic syndrome associated with gastric adenocarcinoma. The first one is hereditary diffuse gastric carcinoma in which there is mutation in CDH1 gene. The CDH1 gene encodes for e cadherin protein and due to the defect in e cadherin protein, it causes diffuse gastric carcinoma along with lobular carcinoma of the breast. CDS1 gene mutation is associated with lobular carcinoma of the breast and diffuse gastric carcinoma. The next one is familial adenomatous polyposis that is APC gene mutation that is caused by APC gene mutation and the next one is Pilzegar syndrome which is due to the mutation in STK11 gene and the next one is Lynch syndrome or hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. It is due to the DNA mutation, it is due to the mutation in gene. Um, that causes um, defective DNA mismatch repairing and it leads to microsatellite instability. Now, classification. Lowering classification classifies the gastric adenocarcinoma into two types. The first one is intestinal type and the second one is diffuse type. Talking about the gross feature, you can see the ulcer here. The tumor is ulcerated here and with hipped or raised margin. The cancer are mainly present in lesser curvature of the stomach and the intestinal type is presented with um, ulcer with hipped margin. Now the diffuse type, diffuse type diffusely infiltrate the gastric wall and the stroma of the gastric wall shows desmoplastic response. Because of the desmoplastic response of stroma, the stomach appears as leather bottle and it is known as linitis plastica. You can see in this gross image, leather bottle appearance of the stomach and it is a very high yield point. Now, talking about microscopic feature, you can see the glands extending in the submucosa. These are the glands and you can see the desmoplastic response shown by stroma. The tumor cell infiltrate into the lamina propria and the submucosa and um, the tumor cell have an increased nuclear cytoplasmic ratio and nuclear hyperchromasia. Now let's talk about the diffuse type. Diffuse type is poorly differentiated and the glands are not visible. Now why it is poorly differentiated and why the glands are not visible? Because diffuse type is associated with e cadherin mutation e cadherin help in addition of the cell because of which the cell are not adherent and they are not differentiated into glands and hence the cell are arranged in row or sheet and you can see nuclear pleomorphism the neoplastic cells the neoplastic cells have clear vacuoles with mucin and the mucin displaces the nucleus toward the periphery you can see the nucleus is displaced toward the periphery. You can see here the mucin vacuole is displacing the nucleus toward the periphery and hence giving the signaturing appearance. This type of diffuse adenocarcinoma is highly infiltrative and it has a poor prognosis. You can see a lot of signaturing cell here. Here you can see the signaturing cell, a lot of signaturing cell. The mucin vacuole are pushing the nucleus toward the periphery giving the signaturing appearance. Now, let's talk about the clinical finding. The patient are presented with weight loss. The patient uh, are presented with weight loss, abdominal pain and anemia. And the another clinical finding is acanthosis nigricans. You can see acanthosis nigricans, which is the black pigmentation of the skin just below the armpit and neck. You can see black pigmentation of the skin in neck and armpit. 
it is due to the production of um, growth factor fibroblast growth factor which causes blackening of the skin below the armpit and in the neck now the another sign is lesser twilight sign lesser twilight sign is the explosive onset of multiple seborrheic keratosis that is many pigmented skin lesion is present in the back and in the ventral side of the body they are the seborrheic keratosis lesion and the next sign is virtual node virtual node is due to the metastasis of gastric carcinoma into the left supraclavicular lymph node here you can see swelling of left supraclavicular lymph node due to the metastasis of tumor into supraclavicular lymph node and the next sign is um, sister mary joseph nodules now what is sister mary joseph nodules in sister mary joseph nodules the tumor mass metastasizes into the peri umbilical region you can see sister mary joseph nodules in which the tumor mass is metastasizing into the peri umbilical region it is the high yield point and um, it is known as sister mary joseph nodule and the next one is krukenbach tumor krukenbach tumor is due to the metastasis of gastric adenocarcinoma into bilateral ovaries you can see metastatic metastatic tumor in the ovaries it is known as krukenbach tumor thank you